February 27th, 2022. To God be the glory for the last Sunday of the second month of this wonderful year. I hope you're waking up to strength, to joy, to another day of worship because the Lord is so faithful to us. We don't deserve it, but he just gives it to us over and over. And hopefully you have the might of the Lord, the courage. We know in Psalms 27, it says, the Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our life. Whom shall we be afraid of? And this is for the people of Ukraine, especially President Zelensky. Aren't we admiring how he is just showing so much boldness against their individual enemy? Huh? He's like, uh-uh. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though in hosts and tanks and missiles should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. You have to make sure that you have a relationship with the Lord. Then come what may, even death, you know that you will be in paradise with the Father, the Creator forever. It says, one thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, that's the presence of the Lord, all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, this is, these are troubling times, he shall hide you, whether in a bomb shelter or wherever. The Lord will lead and guide you. Do not fear. In his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide you and shall set you up upon a rock and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me therefore will i offer in the tabernacle sacrifices of joy continue to acknowledge the lord he will hide you and it's so admirable how they're fighting for democracy and for their children's future make sure you have, like I said, a relationship with the creator, God. And we open up with the song, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Accept the Lord Jesus in your heart. <laughs> you know, acknowledge you can't do it on your own. But with God, you can do all things. In Isaiah 51, verse 3, the, it says, For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort her in the waste places, and he will make her wilderness like an Eden, and her desert, her dry places, barren places, like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found there in thanksgiving and the voice of melody. When you have a relationship with the Lord, come what may, whatever, it can be devastation and desolation around you, but you still have worship in your heart. Hearken unto me, listen to the Lord, and he will guide you. And down to verse 6b, my salvation shall be forever and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Trust in the Lord. And in the seventh verse, the second part, Fear ye not the reproach of men, those who are after you. Neither be ye afraid of their revelings. Why? Because in verse 8, but my righteousness shall be forever and my salvation from generation to generation. You're doing this for your children's children, your offspring. Well, make sure that you put on the strength, O arm of the Lord. Verse 9, don't do things of your own and he will preserve you. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Oh God, for your people, God, we seek your face like never before. We admire the courage of so many who are fighting. But Father, let them take on the arm of the Lord, not the arm of flesh, Father. And you will lead and guide them forevermore. This is just a temporary situation. But Father, we will enjoy your everlasting peace, joy, strength, faithfulness, and we will praise you forevermore. We thank you, Father, for preserving life. And oh God, you will do great things for your people. We give you all the worship and exaltation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.